Hello Libra, Elsie here to do your reading for the week ahead. Welcome to Air Day, Libra. I hope you are well. Thank you so much for clicking here. If you are someone who's never been here before, welcome. I hope you will say so in the comments. I'd love to greet you there. And uh, thank you for the thumbs up and the way that you're growing this tribe, Libra. I do appreciate you. Thank you so much. Let's take a look at, uh, for those of you, oh, for those of you who are the ride or die, thank you so much for being here all the time. I appreciate when you click here every time, each and every time. All right, so we are going to use um, the Lenormand, and then we're going to use the Divine Goddess Oracle. We're going to throw some tarot at it and find out what's coming up here. If you haven't been here before, I like to blend all the energies with all the different decks, oracles, Lenormand, tarot, whatever I can get my hands on. I like to read it all. Here we go. Let's talk about Libra. Okay, we have one card. Ooh, it's a good one. Libra, it's money. Money, money, money. <laughs> is so sunny in a rich man's world, right? I think that's ABBA. I don't know why that came up. All right. <laughs> I think that's ABBA. Okay. So I want to say that you have some good luck coming. So we have the clover here, right? It is card number two. Now it is kind of a paradox, this card, because we have card number two, which is the, um, the high priestess energy, which is not in fact luck. It's, it's actually planning with the universe. It's a knowing. It's a psychic intuition uh, that we're talking about here. And then we have the clover, which is considered to be lucky, right? I, I don't subscribe to luck because I think that the universe is far more planned than luck, but I feel like this tells me that there's some good energy coming your way. We have the six of pentacles on the bottom right hand corner. So it could be something to do with finances here. It could be like you're going to be blessed with money. You might already know that if you're in, an intuitive, if you are used to making decisions based on your own intuition. So that means you don't ask other people what to do. You don't take other people's advice. You know, you have a knowing of what's good for you. You could have um, Piscean energy. I feel like there is... Um, there's money and luck, right? There's money over here. Money, the, the fish and the water are unending, overflowing money is what it is. It is nourishment. It's, um, it's uh, an influx of cash. So we do have the king of pentacles in the bottom right hand corner. We have uh, card number 34, which is a seven. And for me as a reader, sevens are all about heaven. I feel like you're about to be blessed by the heavens with a lot of nourishing, overflowing abundance. Whether that's love, because water can be love, right? It can be emotions. Whether that's love or money or a new home or you're maybe you've put a, a, a bid in on a house and you're finally gonna, gonna get that house, the dream house. Um, we do have the uh, we do have the mice in the middle here and we do have the seven of the seven of wands bottom right hand corner which tells me here that it almost feels like a mindset i want to say that this feels like you're holding your ground on things that are eating at you so even though you have these great things going on you have luck you have balance coming in money here with the six of pentacles that you have an influx of money coming here look the king of pentacles is someone who is so used to manifestation that they don't really even have to manifest anymore that all of the things are just flowing to them once you get into a flow state I feel like it just continues to flow to you. Opportunities start showing up. That's what they do for the King of Pentacles. Opportunities just show up. But I want to say I feel like you're in some sort of a um, a state of, um, and I think it's up in your head. I feel like you're thinking about things that are in lack. 23 is a five. And we do, you can see, we do have the mice here that are, you know, they bring disease, they bring pestilence. You can see there's rotted food around them. It feels like a... That there is uh, this this mouse here is eating through a piece of uh, fabric here, so it's like something's eating at you. Something's about to give, though. Let's uh, let's take a look at the. Yeah, you're about to look at something super close. You need to look closer at the blessings and stop focusing on what could go wrong. Tell me more about Libra, please. Tell me about Libra. All right. Pay attention, it says. Pay attention. Look out for signs from the divine. Acknowledge red flags. I feel like you're way too focused on what could break or what could go wrong. And paying attention, I feel, is like paying attention uh, to opportunities. Make sure when the opportunities arrive that you don't push them away because of some sort of inner thing that you're going through, which is lack in the mind right? So don't push away these opportunities just because you are feeling in a state of um, 
lack in the mind. That's what it feels like here. So we have pay attention to the red flags, acknowledge the red flags. We have divine timing here. It says everything has a higher purpose. And then we have energy activation. It says connect to the divine through meditation or prayer. So there we go. It says you're the only way you're going to know where the red flags are or what's not working for you or what is a lie, what is the truth, is if you check in with the self and check in with your divine connection here, whoever that is for you, whoever the source is for you. We do have communicate. Why do we have that? Communicate with a past life connection, deception and awakening. You're about to see some things that you didn't see before, my friend. Deception is false illusion, scarcity of mentality and falling into bad habits. So I don't know if you have bad habits to break, but I feel like you're about to have an awakening here. And uh, you are about to have communication from a past life connection as well. All right. Let's look at some tarot. Tell me what's going on for Libra. You need some detail for Libra, please. Tell me about Libra. We have the King of Cups. We have the Three of Cups in the reverse. We have the Ten of Swords. Interesting. You're going to have to give something up before you're going to be blessed with this stuff here. First of all, you're going to have to believe in yourself. The King of Cups is here. You're going to have to believe in yourself. And um, the King of Cups is somebody who is very psychic in their energy. They are somebody who is very emotional underneath the surface, but keeps it very quiet or astute or stoic on the surface. So I want to say that... Um, I, I, I want to say, first of all, that if you are going to be blessed with money or abundance of some sort, that I think you're supposed to keep it under wraps. You're not supposed to show it on the surface. Secondly, I feel like you need to become more open, um, open to the universe, and because we can see that the heart chakra is open here with this person here. You can see the, the uh, heart chakra is open. And um, yeah, this person is wearing a fish around the neck here. And there's fish here, right? So I think you're attracting this abundance. But I think you're supposed to keep it to yourself. I think that before you can attract the abundance, I feel like you need to become emotionally aware, emotionally open. I feel like you, and, and that's the thing, you need to be open to receive, right? You can manifest yourself into oblivion, but if you're not open to receive, if you don't think that you deserve it, you're not going to get it. Um, we do have the Three of Cups and um, this, you know, this mice, the mice that are here, right? Getting into things, spreading disease. Things aren't good. I want to say that you are about to let go of someone, a relationship, a friend group. And I'm just saying that you're about to because this this mouse is, you know, it's like only a few more bites and, and we're going to we're going to be all the way through that piece of fabric there. We're about ready to let go. We've got the uh, Seven of Swords. We've got the High Priestess. And we've got the Nine of Wands. Bottom of the deck, there you are. You are in the future, my friend. Why is Justice here? Because of the Four of Cups and Temperance. I feel like it's, it's a time right now where you're waiting for something to change. You're waiting for change to come. You're waiting for the moment of alchemy. You're waiting for healing. I feel like right now you're waiting. Um, and... Uh, you don't see it coming. I, I want to say that that you're not open. I want to say that the reason that the king has shown up here, the king of cups, is because you're you are you're blocking some blessings here. I want to say with the two of swords, you're blocking blessings of love. Um, I feel like you are not seeing something for what it really is. <sighs> Libra, if you are in a relationship, I feel like you're about to release it. I feel like you're about to let it go. It's not any fun anymore. I feel like it's like disease, pestilence, something's eating at you. It's not any fun anymore. Three of Cups is in the reverse. It tells me we're not celebrating this relationship anymore. Also with the Ten of Swords next door, it tells me that, that there is something that is about to come to an end and you're going to feel betrayed. It's not going to feel good. But understand, please, that that um, we get released from things that we need to be released from at the time when we need to be released from them. It's all about divine timing. So when when 
if, if you're supposed to be releasing something, if you don't release it, that thing will release you because it is divine timing and you can't fight the wheel. You can't fight the wheel of change. And so I feel like something maybe emotional is already dead, like somebody's not taking your emotions or you're emotionally available or trying to be here and somebody else is not emotionally available. Someone has decided that they don't want that they don't want to do this anymore. There's no, it's not any fun anymore. It's become disease-ridden, pestilence. We're standing our ground, seven of pentacles here. We have a seven of swords and it tells me that, that there is there is something here that's going on. Um, we've got the Seven of Swords, which is, um, it can be um, lying and deceit, right? But there is some sort of a secret or some sort of a lie that you don't know about. But I feel like you feel it, Libra, I'm going to say, that you feel like something is going on here. And it might be, maybe you're not the one who's going to release the relationship. Maybe it's someone else who's going to release you. But you feel like something's going on here. Something's not right with the Seven of Swords. And you're braced for impact here. Your your intuition is on high. I feel like you're quite psychic, actually. You've got a lot of psychic intuition. And I feel like that's what this is all about. The psychic intuition is telling you that something is about to end. But I want to say to you that the thing that is ending is it ending because of divine timing. And it is going to give you balance. And I feel like it takes you to a place of um, of luck. Of I feel like your intuition is already telling you that you're about to get reciprocity somewhere else. But I feel like especially that your pentacle world, six of pentacles on the bottom right hand corner, your pentacle world, the 3D world, your house, your job, your home, your your children. I feel like you're about to get some sort of a balance in that. I want to say that maybe you don't realize that this is going so bad that it's causing you to be in this energy of lack, that the three of cups is already in the reverse and it's time to let something go. Tell me about this money. Tell me about this money here. I feel like you're already getting signs from the universe that something is up, that something good is coming here. Tell me about this. We have the seven of wands. We have the hanged man. Yeah, you're trying to feel it out here. You know that something is coming here and it is. It's charging in. I really do feel like there is some sort of really good opportunity that is coming, um, but it is, it is going to make you uh, financially stable. It's um, something to do with your pentacle world. You're about to get an upgrade of some sort because of financial abundance. Tell me about the three of cups and the mice, please. What's going on here? Something's eating at you here. It's like this is no more fun. What's going on? I've got the page of pentacles. I've got the seven of swords. Ooh, you're about ready to cut someone out here. That's what it feels like. And we've got the King of Wands. It's all about you, my friend. So we do have the Page of Pentacles. I want to say that that the person who you're in this relationship with, if you're already in a relationship, and look, it doesn't have to be a love relationship. It can be a friendship. It can also be a job, right? Whatever it is, it's no fun anymore, and it's become lack. It's become like there's more things wrong with it than there are right with it. And I want to say that that somebody here that I feel like you showing up as the King of Cups here is telling me that you are the one who is balanced. You are the one who is available and open and ready to make things work. And I want to say that someone else is putting in a page worth. They're putting in so very little energy into this. And I think that's why it's going to end. But I feel like you're the one that's going to end it. I feel like you're you're not going to stay in this energy for much longer. The King of Swords, of course, is the one who, you know, will be very honest and truthful. And I'm ready to do the best thing for everyone involved, even if that means cutting you out. Yeah. Somebody here is not putting in a whole lot of effort. I feel like you're ready to step away. Um, the King of Wands, right? It's like you have a fire in your heart that needs to be um, addressed. You need. You, it feels like you want to move further into this relationship. And if you can't move further into this relationship, then I feel like it's over. Tell me about the Ten of Swords, please. The relationship or the job or the friendship or the family member. Somebody here is putting in very little into this here. And I think that that you know that it's time to go here. Yeah, it is. You're almost across the finish line. I want to say that with the, <coughs> pardon me, with the six of wands here, it tells me that you've had enough. Yeah, you're ready to go from the place that hurt you, that gave you the trauma. You're ready to, to just cut it out and be done with it here. And uh, we do have the King and the Queen of Cups because I really do feel like you 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 want to find somebody 
who is on your wavelength, right? The Queen and the King of Cups are counterparts, right? They treat each other the same. They live in the same sort of energy. They're all hard overhead. I feel like that's you, that you are a logical, emotional thinker. That's what it feels like to me, that you're not all swords, that you always want to have balance, but you're not all swords. I feel like you have heavy water, possibly, or you're just quite, you've got some psychic energy that you're dealing with here. So I, I want to say that the reason that something ends, there's only one reason, so something else can begin. And sometimes the reason something ends is because it's not for you. And although you don't realize that the universe moves you along, and so if you won't leave, then they get the other person to leave. I want to say that whatever it is, it's your choice, because the King of Swords is here, and I feel like something is coming to the end, because I feel like you feel that somebody has lied to you, has been hiding things from you. Tell me what's been hiding. Tell me about the Seven of Swords, please. Tell me about the Seven of Swords for Libra. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Whatever's been hiding is about to come out to uh, to be seen here. Um, whatever's been whatever's been hiding in the Seven of Swords, whatever someone has been hiding is about to come to the surface. You're about to know exactly what's been going on here, and I think it's going to confirm your intuition that you've been. You've been trying to keep balance in this situation, whether it's a job or a platonic relationship or a love relationship. You've been you've been the one who's been keeping balance because that's who you are. And I always say that, you know, every sign has their 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 shadow side. And I feel like for you, your shadow side is that you just require balance. And so you will tend to ignore things around the outside in order to keep your balance. You'll you'll not want to deal with certain things because you want to keep your balance. But I feel like, you know, again, we're talking about balance, but I feel like um, with the high priestess and the sun that whatever, whatever has been going on below the surface is about to be confirmed by your intuition. You're not going to have to say a word. I feel like if you just keep in balance here, that whatever it is is going to come to the surface. Um, tell me about what's going to be confirmed by Libra's intuition. I feel like your person is entertaining another person. I'm sorry to say that. But we have the Knight of Cups with the Moon and the Queen of Wands. And it feels like that there is there is romantic feelings with someone you can't see. And that person is all too willing to meddle in another relationship. When I see it in this sort of situation, the Queen of Wands to me becomes the person on the outside or the third party. And uh, I feel like you don't see that your person... Um, whoever it is, your best friend might be giving you up. At, you, you might have a, a friend or a bestie who is a person that when they get into a relationship, all of a sudden you mean nothing to them. Like you you mean nothing to them. And it feels like what you don't see is the reason that somebody's pulling back or pulling back their emotional energy from you is because there is someone else on the side. So I want to say that your intuition is going to be confirmed and you're going to be going on a new journey here, the fool. And I feel like you're going to be going on a new journey that is very abundant. It's an abundant journey. Somebody who is like you, someone who gives of themselves like you do, um, someone who is protective and kind and compassionate. Look, we got the King and the Queen of Cups here. I feel like you need to just let the situation take care of itself, cut someone out if you need to, and let it go. But I feel like with the Nine of Wands here, I'm going to say just hold on because I feel like once you once you show the universe that you respect yourself enough to get out of a situation where someone you know is lying to you, and I think you know because I think your intuition is on high here, I feel like you know somebody's lying to you. And when you show the universe that you respect yourself by getting out of that relationship, you're going to be rewarded with something that is very beautiful and deep, I feel. Because that's what's across the finish line with the Six of Wands. As soon as you step over the, the, the finish line here... Um, from this traumatic time, I feel like you do meet someone really lovely that is very much matching your energy. We have the Seven of Cups, we have the Queen of Pentacles, and the um, the Ten of Swords. Yeah, I'm going to say hold on. I feel like there is something that's coming to an end. I don't know if you are possibly your person, your best friend, your member of your family, or your relationship person is maybe someone who is a Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn, but it does feel like there is about to be some sort of betrayal from someone who might be an earth sign, and it's very confusing for you. You didn't think that this person would ever do that to you. It becomes quite confusing for you. Tell me what the outcome is here. Again, we keep going back to the Fool. Tell me what the outcome is here for Libra, please. Tell me what the outcome is for Libra. 
Yeah, you are about to... Um, I just heard the Beatles. You say you want a revolution. Well, you know, it feels like it feels like if 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 what you want is a revolution, that's what you're going to get a revolution. I feel like you're about to stand up and um, and liberate yourself from a situation. We have the two of wands and the nine of cups. Yeah, you need to do it because you, you have to find out what's out there. You have to broaden your horizons. You need to pick a different path. It's time for you to go out into the world and create something. Um, create something that makes you feel passionate every day. I feel like you just need to practice being single and happy with the nine of cups here. And I feel like, you know, the way that it's broken down here, the eight cups are on the table and the one cup is in hand. I feel like the one cup that is in hand is the cup that you're going to give to, you know, whoever you are. I don't know if you're the king of pentacles, the masculine leaning, or uh, sorry, the king of cups, masculine leaning, or the queen of cups, feminine leaning. Take it as it resonates for you. But I feel like this is somebody who is pulling away for their own happiness. Uh, the eight of cups is like breaking away or disconnecting emotionally for your own happiness, which is the eight of, uh, sorry, the ace of cups here. It's going to take you a while. Look, be patient with yourself. Wait for divine timing. You'll feel the shift. You will know. But right now, I feel like you're overthinking it. You're up in your mind here. But I feel like you are going to say something and go on a new path. The Eight of Cups is here. Yeah. So the Eight of Cups is here. And I feel like you you realize that you have everything that you need to move forward on your own. The Magician is here. You are magic. And I feel like you will um, use whatever tools you need to use because you know your worth. And that's the truth of it. You're manifesting other things. You no longer are connecting with the person that you're with. I feel like we're seeing this... this um, card of the mice here because it's already over and it's been over for a while it's just time to make it official that's all it is so we do have aries sagittarius leo energy here we have taurus virgo capricorn we've got a lot of pisces leo uh, pisces again scorpio pisces cancer energy libra gemini and aquarius energy of course more scorpio energy gemini is there libra is here yeah, it does feel like, oh yes, I was going to say, you're going to get communication with with a past life connection. And I feel like that's this person. I feel like whoever this is, this is this person that you're going to be connecting with, the past life connection. All right. I will leave this here. Libra, thanks so much for coming and watching here. I'm going to go for now. Thank you for being here. I will go, but I'll be back because I'm always back. Love you guys. Bye-bye.